Hi, I'm Peter from The Grain Father, I'm the owner of the company and also I'm largely head of MPD or New Product Development for The Grain Father range. So a few couple of years now, three years ago we brought The Grain Father to the market and we're very proud of the result of, of what the team's achieved. It was all about making the perfect wort and we believe we've achieved that. But it soon became apparent that the perfect wort is not enough to make a perfect beer because the other two main th things that we need to address for brewing is temperature control and getting rid of the oxygen. The first thing that we've tackled is the, the conical fermenter. This is a jacketed um, and double walled and insulated fermenter. has a conical base and takes an airlock at the top. Made of stainless steel, uh, both inside and out. It comes standard with a, a basic plate across the bottom with a tri-clamp. But we also have available this very unique and custom designed uh, dumping valve and runoff. So you've got let this large lever up to dump and the, and the yeast can come out here so you can use that for yeast harvesting and you can use this tap here to run off through the little holes in the top of this outlet pipe so you can run off from above the level of the sediment and this comes in two sizes so that typically which size you, you need to use you'll be able to adjust um, depending on the amount of yeast that you have coming out. This means you only have one outlet in your fermenter, so again for cleaning you don't have to have two outlets, you have to clean. One often is a flow off valve and the other is the, the dumping valve. Plus, because this is changeable, if you find that you can, you're having less sediment and, you, and you're very good at the dumping, then you can reduce this down and, and collect more beer off the, off the brew. The fermenter comes standard with a um, temperature display and it plugs into the wall which gives a, a very gentle heat underneath. There's no hot spots on the element. Uh, it it's gently heats the cone and you control the temperature by turning the switch on and off. So we can simply remove the display and turn this into a temperature controller which will control the heating and the cooling. Of course an integral part of the fermenter is the cooling sleeve which is inside the, um, between the two walls. Um, it's also an insulation layer on the outside. So in, inside you have completely clean walls, there's no coils, there's no um, pipe work inside for the chilling. Uh, inlet on one side and outlet on the other side around here. And that connects up to the chiller. The chiller is another one of the very exciting projects we're bringing to market. Um, temperature control needs heating and chilling. Um, all the commercial craft breweries have a proper heating and chilling system. Our chiller will allow you to, f to cool up to four fermenters. It will allow you to crash cool down to four degrees Celsius in about four hours. It will let you control the temperature fermentation, whatever profile you want, and the temperature controller here, you can pre-program uh, fermentation profiles. So you can run it through to a certain temperature for a while, raise it if you want to towards the end of the fermentation, cold crash, bring it back to normal, whatever you want to do, it's completely flexible. The other beautiful thing about all this is it's not just perfect for beer, it's also perfect for wine and it's also perfect for spirit washes if you're making distilled spirits. The temperature control is one of the most key things for fermentation, period. Things coming through in the future are CO2 transfer, so you, a, an attachment on the top here which attaches to your CO2 bottle and then you can transfer your, your, your wort off into another fermenter or into your keg without having any oxygen entering the, the fermenter. So once you've finished fermenting and you've, you're happy after you've cold chilled it, you can run it straight off into your kegs. You CO2 flush your keg first and you've got the beer into the keg just again as the craft commercial brewer does. They don't let oxygen anywhere near their beer. This is the best beer that you'll be able to make. This actually gives you a nano brewery, nano craft brewery at home. There are other products we're bringing to market with the Grandfather range are really exciting I can't quite let you know what those are yet but I want you to know that we're bringing you a cost-effective fit-for-purpose modular nano brewing system that will rival any craft commercial brewery you'll be able to make beer as good as the craft brewers can in your own home